Hi everybody, welcome to Cooking with Cricket. I'm not cooking today. Um, I'm gonna try to give you an update because a lot of people's been contacting me and asking. And I'm trying to do this on my iPhone. I've always just recorded on a camera. My son, he does my videos, has been working nights. Now he sleeps during the day, so he just doesn't have time. But anyway, like I say, a lot of he's been asking and no, I'm not ready. My teeth and all have not gotten fixed yet. They won't clear me. Uh, I will explain why. So remember they removed a lot of them from surgery and all that medicine I've been on. They're just crumbling and then you know that hole in my neck. So you just got to get used to seeing me like this and I am supposed to wear my mask when I'm around anybody still. So anyway, it's just embarrassing but <clears throat> If you haven't watched my video from January or February uh, about a bacterial infection almost took me out, it'll be the one before this one. Again, I'm sorry it's been so long. It has been one heck of a year. Um, I got another infection uh, that was in my mouth. I was able to take the antibiotics at home, which about done me in. It just it, it made me feel like I was just dying on the inside. It was so bad. So, uh, and you know, some this and that going on. And uh, we recently had a house fire. <laughs> I mean, it's just been crazy. So, uh, and yes, I got my hair cut. <clears throat> but anyway, in July, I got up and was real sick with my stomach. And... I already have tummy tr problems anyway, but this was different. Like, the pain was unreal, and then the cramps even felt like labor, and it just kept getting worse. I was getting sick, I couldn't eat, I couldn't drink, I was sick to my stomach. And by mid-afternoon, like, I was just crying every time the pains would hit. And my husband was like, please call the doctor. So I did, and they're like, please get to the ER. So they did CT scan on me. Now, I was on a lot of medication, uh, pain medicine and all of the kind when I was there. And they came and told me what I thought, that I had inflammation in my small intestine. And again, I thought they said one of their surgeons would be calling me, a gastrologist. <clears throat> well, nobody never called me and if I did, I didn't get the call. So um, I just kind of let that go. Uh, just kind of forgot about it. I had medication and all. And like I say, um, I fell off my bed, cracked my rib. Um, I woke up in the middle of the night, saw one of them big old huge like water bugs like, crawling on the wall. So I stood up <clears throat> and tried to swat at it. When I did, I lost my foot and fell. And my arm actually cracked my rib. So, uh, I went back about a month ago just for a regular checkup, and my doctor told me that they go, the CT scan wasn't good. Um, there's an obstruction in my small intestine surrounded by a lot of fluid, and they go, it's like weird where it's located at and stuff but you need to get this seen about now. Uh, this was on a Thursday when I went, and also my blood work was showing that my sugar keeps getting higher and higher, and so they did the A1C. Um, it was 6.0, and they're gonna just keep checking on it because they all know that, um, you know, for this past year, I've been eating lots of carbs and stuff, just what I can tolerate, what I can eat. And let me backtrack uh, before I went to my regular doctor for my checkup, I noticed my right eye, and that's besides the infection, was on in my neck. Uh, this year was just getting worse, like the vision. So I went there and um, she said the infection that I had in my neck is so serious and dangerous, you know, where it had traveled and it did affect my eyesight in my right eye that won't correct itself. So, like I 
like this side of my lens will be a whole lot stronger than this side. So um, <clears throat> we went and then that night our house caught on fire. So we hadn't went back to get our new glasses and everybody's fine from that. Uh, my husband actually had fell asleep in, in the living room in the recliner. And if he hadn't, I wouldn't be here right now. That was just the Lord that saved us that night because the fire started in the living room. One of them strips, electrical strips, shorted out. And um, our smoke detectors and all didn't work. They didn't go off. So anyway, that was awful. So back to my doctor. That was on a Thursday. Uh, Friday morning, the gastrologist was calling and wanted me to come in on Monday. I was like, well, I can't because my mama had planned a trip back in the summertime for the family to go up to Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg. And we was going like the next week. So they're like, no, you need to come on in. So I went on in and I left there just crying. But um, he just said it's just very concerning. Um, there is an obstruction and since things, you know, had changed, he said it could be that infection. It just maybe just got chased to my small intestine and it's just living there. And, uh, or it could be something else. We just won't know. So, um, and I have esophageal gel spasms. Um, my mama has those too. And they'd always said it's from my bad neck, but it's been getting worse. Like when you eat or drink, or even sometimes if I burp, it will bring one on and that's just excruciating pain. So anyway, they're doing both colonoscopy, endoscopy, and they're gonna do uh, several biopsies. Uh, that was on the 28th, but when the hospital called for pre-op and my husband heard the date, He's like, that's when we're going to my parents for Thanksgiving. It'd be the day before. So I put it off. So it's on the 6th or the 8th. But so I got that coming up. And it's just been crazy. You know, I've been cooking here and there. But like I say, I don't ever film with my iPhone. So I guess I'm going to have to learn until... Um, and we did get a computer, like I say, every time something comes, something comes up, you know, and then the fire, and then this come up, and then it's just us getting down there and picking one out. So, and right now that's not on the top of my list <clears throat> and everything. So, it's just been crazy and everything, but, you know, I'm still here, still hanging in there, and oh, we had a good time up on our little vacation with mom and my uh stepdad and all so um you know and just had fun with the family and stuff but other than that just trying to get ready for christmas because last year we didn't have a christmas my husband's major surgery was on christmas eve eve the 23rd of december so <clears throat> i just put a little tree outside on the porch so this year <clears throat> i'm just determined we're gonna have a christmas <laughs> I found, I saw a sticker tree on TikTok, and it's a big old tree you just hang on your wall. So I'm going to get one of those because, you know, the cats and everything. So anyway, um, if y'all want me to tell more stories, I will. If this works out fine, if this gets uploaded fine and I can figure it out, I can do more storytelling and stuff. Um, there is a story about... <laughs> while I was home recovering about these cats that had got in our house through our basement and had babies. And uh, that rescue place coming out and what all was discovered, it was crazy. I can tell you that story if you want me to, just let me know. I know I'm trying to uh, rush through this one and stuff, but there's been a lot going on. Like it really has a lot lot going on. I've lost a lot of weight. You probably can't tell with these clothes, but I've lost nearly like over 30 pounds. But what is concerning, the day I went to my regular doctor and a week and a half later when I went to the gastrologist, I done lost two more pounds and I'm not trying to. So I'm about down to, I think it was 123 
So I'm not trying to lose weight. I wouldn't mind keeping this weight, but I'm not trying and everything. So they did ask me to go back on Boost or Glycerna or some of that. So I'm back, you know, on the Boost to help with the vitamins and stuff and everything. And so um, our plan is, because <laughs> even the eye doctor had said, like, nobody sees me even I wear the mask and there's like, when you're going to um, get your teeth all pulled. And I'm like, how did you know? She says, because when you have an infection in your neck, no, I know what happens. And so that I was supposed to get cleared in January, but now that's probably going to get pushed up some more till they find out what's going on with my small intestine and stuff. So, and I just, I have one a chip that broke off and it has cut up my tongue real bad but I can't do nothing about it. Nobody will touch me right now for a risk of infection. I know in the hospital when that doctor said you know just remember you're in a marathon not a sprint this year's gonna be hard on you. I didn't realize it was gonna be like this. So anyway I can't do that much I, where I get tired and stuff. And again, I do have the bad neck issues going on. So, um, I'm just trying to hang in there and everything. And Lord's been with us and been good to us and everything. So, uh, <clears throat> let me know. Well, I do have cooking videos that I would love to do. Like I said, it's just trying to get everything set up. Me trying to figure out how to film it on this phone. So, Pay no attention to my cup. I've had this cup about five years. My stepdad got it for me for Christmas. And I keep a cup over it because I have a cat in here that likes straws. And they will get it out. So if you like me to tell you that, that stray cat rescue thing story, I will. Like I said, if this turns out fine, then I should be able to do it. But I love and miss you all. Miss talking to you and stuff and everything. Just know I'm still hanging in there and if you'd like me to do story time videos, I will. And I will definitely, you know, try, like I said, if this goes good with the filming on the phone, keep you updated about a week after they do the boxes and stuff because I won't know nothing until that gets back. So, but if you'd like me to tell you the cat story, just let me know. But anyway, I think I'm at nearly 13 minutes. So I need to hush. But anyway, I really miss y'all, and it touches my heart when y'all come to my videos asking, you know, how I'm doing and stuff. It really means a lot. So here I am, and I um, hope to do another video real soon. Just let me know. Bye, y'all.